What's up, YouTube? We are back with another episode of What the Hell Am I Doing? Tonight is a special episode because tonight we hit 70 subscribers, which is a huge increase, almost double where I was from last week. Thanks to you guys, tonight's a big deal. And I appreciate all the new subscribers and all the people that are still watching that haven't subscribed yet. Please click that button over there. Subscribe, keep this thing going, keep it growing, because a lot of good things are going to come. So as promised, tonight is a big deal. Tonight I'm doing two rounds as usual, although this might be a little bit crazy, because tonight I'm starting with the Hellraiser Ghost Pepper Chocolate Bar. 100 grams of milk chocolate chili Ghost peppers and cinnamon. Hmm. <coughs> that sounds good. My money's on it uh, tasting pretty good for you. Yeah, I think it's going to taste like, This good. is actually really good. Yeah. I really enjoy this for uh, just sitting down and just chilling. I totally agree. I think that, that I'm going to enjoy this. Meanwhile, I would burn to death. He would burn to death. He would vaporize. He would be gone from this room. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, I... Uh, I think this could be hot, but I think this will be in between the ghost pepper nuts I did last week and the uh, the chips that I did a few weeks ago. But I think this will be good. We'll see how it goes. We're going to make this into a short challenge, and uh, we'll, we'll go from there. But as promised, for hitting 70 subscribers, tonight's a big deal. And it's a big thank you to everybody who subscribed. The champ is taking on the Doe of Satan. I'm going to destroy this. I'm not just going by the rules on the back that state five minutes and you've, you've beat this thing. I'm going to go for 20 and I'm going to eat it. That's what champs do. So make sure you stick around for round two because I'm taking this on tonight and it's going to be a doozy. I promise you. I made that run. All right. So let's get down to it. I've been holding this one for a while. But looking forward to this. Got this one from Chili Childs, good website in Canada for you Canadian guys and gals and non binaries. Uh, non identified. <laughs> non identified. All right, so we open this up Purgatory, white chili, chocolate, chili. There's no white chocolate in here. White chocolate with ghosts, okay, and then Black Widow. So these must be the other ones they make. Ghost chili powder is one of the last things in the ingredients, so I don't think this is going to be too hot. But we're going to see. It's a big, big, uh, big chocolate bar. Looks like a normal chocolate bar. Nothing special. It's like chocolate, don't you? Sure. You going to melt your face off with me? I don't know if I want to try that. You balls are not on the table. Well, I don't think I smell pepper, so I think uh, I think we're gonna do is we're gonna break this into a few big pieces like this. We're gonna do a time session. We'll see how hot this is. If even timing is worth it, this is a practice for something I'm working towards. You guys will find out more about that at a future point in time. Should we do four minutes to eat this? Whole thing. Why don't yeah. you enjoy it? Because if it's hot, I want it to be a challenge. Well, isn't it more of a challenge if you hold it in your mouth? I don't know. Well, then how come the toe, challenge, the toe of Satan asks for you to hold it in your mouth for five? That's going to be a different story because so the skull bills. This mouth. could be nothing. This could be like that half an hour chocolate bar. You should bar. savor each piece in your mouth for, I don't know, two minutes. That's too long. Why? Usually these chocolate challenges are like ten minutes for them. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't have much experience with that. <clears throat> Let's see how it is. And, you know, if it's not hot, then we'll see. But I think we're going to make this a challenge. That's the whole point. That's the whole point. A little savory. I'll buy another one if I want to savor it. I'm the jam. I can buy anything I want. They should give it to me. Anything? Anything. 
Okay, let's do this. I'm gonna do four minutes to eat all this. Let's see what happens. Maybe this sucks. Wiley. Is it going? It's going. SpaceX. I'm gonna buy SpaceX with my champ money. With milk chocolate. Harrison wants some. So how is it? It's good so far. It's good. This is champ chocolate. By the way, I'd like to uh, dedicate uh, tonight's challenges to the Leafs who are playing Ottawa. We're playing right now. We got the game paused, so we're going to watch it later. But uh, go Leafs, go. They got to get going. Because this year, the Leafs are going to be champs. So one champ that's recognizable of champ qualities. Good luck to the Leafs. Your quest for the Stanley Cup. Getting things going. Go Leafs, go. So, so far, this is hotter than the, um, the chocolate bar from hell. Chocolate bar from hell was uh, mild. So you're descending deeper into the bowels of hell. Mm hmm Yep. Next up, the toes say you ran his foot. Apparently. Yeah. What if it is really spicy? Good. Let the toe see. If it is, yeah. then it's going to. This is going to be 9 million skull bill. Wow. It's made from extract, so it's guaranteed to be spicy. And what's not guaranteed is how long I can keep it. I think you could handle this. Think I can handle it? Still mostly chocolatey. Most of the flavor is milk chocolate. Milk what? I think the chips are hotter. The chips are definitely hotter. But I'll tell you, this is good chocolate. Good stuff. You know, chocolate's good. A little bit of heat, but we're talking like a zero. A zero? Mm-hmm. Yeah. My eggs in the morning are hotter than this before I put hot sauce on them. Why are your eggs spicy? Because they're good out there. I make spice, I've been making spicy eggs for about 12, 13 years. Every Sunday. You're eating a lot of spicy stuff. A lot of spicy food. So you give me heartburn? Never. Because I'm heartless. Okay, I'm not totally heartless. That's not true. But when I'm in champ mode, I'm heartless and I'm fearless. And this stuff's got nothing on me. Mmm, we're out of fun. What? We're out of fun. We're out of fun. We're out of time to get 25 seconds. Talking too much. Bon Three, two, one. Well, there you have it. Cow Razor Milk Chili Chocolate. Ghost Pepper Infused Chocolate Bar. I'm not sweating, this isn't very hot to me. This is pretty much a zero. It's got a little more kick than the chocolate bar from hell. Slightly more kick. It's a good combination of heat and chocolate. I think I think you could handle it. I think a scared white boy like you. <laughs> I like that flavor. 
Good handling. Yeah, it's got flavor and it's got heat. It's good. I think I think it's a good combination. I think for the for the average person, this would be good. Even a guy like me, you know, that totally you know killer of all things hot and scary. You know, this is enjoyable. I could have this as a snack once in a while. If someone bought this for me, I wouldn't be disappointed. How many times spicier than Miss Vicky Jalapeno? It's a good question. If you ate the whole bag, it might be like this at once. You eat the whole bag at once, just like inhaled it, just like ah. Yeah, you just kept eating the whole thing, letting it build. Yeah, I think the hottest that could be would be like this. This is that at its worst. To me. Maybe not to you. To me, that's what it feels like. I feel this feels like a jalapeno potato chip, basically. You know, it's nowhere near that. It's nowhere. It's no, I'm pointing to nothing. People don't know what I'm pointing at. I'm like, ah. <laughs> I, uh, I'm pointing to my chips up the the uh, the ghost pepper chips. They're actually hot. Uh, the the ghost pepper nuts were hotter than those. This isn't near any of those. But this is good. I'm not gonna keep rambling on about this though. So. It defeated that. So now, we're, since that wasn't very hot, let's chase it with the last sauce that I've yet to try. Let's chase it with that, make this exciting, and call it a night for this round. Call it a round. So this here is the last hot sauce that I got from Chili Childs. Uh, still give me. Um, this is Elijah's Extreme Reaper sauce. It looks like good stuff. Uh, it's got black cherries, brown sugar, tomato paste, cranberry sauce, Carolina Reapers, Kentucky bourbon whiskey, white onion, vinegar, vanilla extract, sea salt. Sounds good. So because I think the chocolate bar failed, I think we should try some Reaper sauce. I've never tasted this before. I don't know how hot it is. That scorpion sauce last week was really surprisingly hot. Um, I don't know why it seems so hot after having Reapers, but it was. Um, but it's good stuff. I had it in my sandwiches all week. Let's see how this stuff pours out. It looks like a thick sauce. It is kind of thick. Looks like good stuff, though. Yeah. Look at that. All right. All right, so this is a... Uh, oh, you're dripping. I just smell cranberries. All right, let's taste it. I don't think I'd be cranberry these days. Whoa, that's good. Actually, I think it's, you can taste the cherry too. Ooh, that is good. Wow, that's got kick. Wow, now compared to this, yeah, like I said, this was a zero. This was beyond, like this is like point, point, you know, zero, zero, one on a tennis scale. This is instantly uh, a lot hotter than that. This would be, um, I would probably say this is about a one. Yeah, it doesn't sound like much, but I mean, this is, my tongue's on fire from it. Is it a one? Yeah, this is or like, ten? at a 10, yeah. I'm not knocking it, that's not a knock. My tongue's hot, but I'm not sweating. My nose isn't running. I mean, I'm starting to get a little sweat from that, but. Uh, so what, what's, what's the jalapeno one? It's zero. It's zero. Yeah. This is definitely one. My tongue is definitely lit up, but my throat, fine. Lips aren't on fire. So that's good sauce. So yeah, Elijah's Extreme Reaper sauce. Let's try a little more. This might be the tastiest one. What are you eating exactly? Like a barbecue sauce or something? I think you could put this on ice cream. On ice cream? Yeah. That's kind of weird. A blend of black cherries, cranberries, and Carolina Reaper peppers. It's kind of fruity. Uh, you could put this on like, you could probably put this in a sandwich. You could definitely, it's definitely starting to make me sweat now. This could be a two. It's getting up there now. It builds when you have more. I taste the cherries now, which is nice. Yeah. This, this, this could be like a dessert sauce. It's hot, but if you put this on ice cream, this would be really good. If you put this on like uh, some kind of dessert pancakes or something, the cherries taste good, but then the heat kicks in. It's a good flavor combination. This is hot. Not very hot. 
maybe to you this would be like a six. You might be tapping out if you had two spoonfuls of this like I just did. Um, you know, it might surprise you. But to me, this is in line with the heat I've been playing with the last few weeks. So I enjoy this, and I think I'm going to enjoy some of a lot of stuff. Maybe I'll try it on sandwiches. Maybe I'll get some ice cream. And Actually, I still have ice cream. Maybe I'll put this on the ice cream and try it. We'll see. Anyways, that's amazing stuff. This was good, but not hot. Not hot. Not for me. So anyways, I think that's it for this round. I think you just saw me destroy two things that were delicious. And now, we get ready for the toe of Satan. Because I'm coming back at you with round two soon. And I'm doing this tonight. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Come back for the next episode in a little bit.